What's up? Fat Preacher Man. Got something new for you guys today. Um, you guys have already hopefully seen the video about my Optimus. My new phone. Yay, look at the cool background. Isn't that cool? It's like smoke. It moves. Anyway, so today um, we're opening another phone. This is another Optimus, but this is the LG Optimus Q, also known as the LG L55C. Optimus, um, and this is like the baby brother or little sister of the one that I got, and this one is for my wife Nicole, and um, it it looks pretty much the same. The screen is just a tad small; it's only a 3.2 inch touch screen. It still uses the Android 2.3 operating system, has 3G Wi-Fi. It comes with a 4 gig memory SD card, but I got an 8 gig. I'm gonna swap out. So, okay, but it can use up to 32 gigs, so that's sweet. And I've noticed, I found out with other phones that you need to find out what it can operate with because the processor or the software might not be able to handle more than what they tell you. Um, but this one it says can handle up to 32. And then it has the 3.2 megapixel video recorder. And the one, the reason my wife wanted this one. As you can see, it's a slider. It's got the little slider keyboard that pops out the side. She doesn't like just touch screen. Uh, nice thing about this one, we ordered it from Net10, and they sent us a little gift for doing it. It's here. Um, they give you a little thing for lunch. It's a little gift card. Got the code there. You put in the code on the website, and you get lunch. You get a gift card you can use in different places. Pizza, California Pizza Kitchen, Ruby Tuesdays, Domino's, Panera, Red Lobster, Longhorn, Steakhouse, Olive Gardens, a bunch of different places. Fifteen bucks, so that's not bad. And the phone itself was much cheaper than mine. This one was only one ninety, but that includes um, that includes tax. Uh, but it doesn't include shipping. The shipping was free, so that's cool. And again, it has let's see anything else: instant messaging, Bluetooth, GPS. Can work with a hearing aid. Um, uses the apps available on the Google Play Store. Uh, battery talk time up to five hours, standby time up to seven days. Uh, bah, bah, bah. Okay, so let's open her up and take a look. So while we're doing this, we might well, have time to check out our other videos. You can see the videos that I made recently with. with uh, my Optimus, which showed the recording capability of the camera, in case you're into that thing, and um, the ability to actually upload. It has a little plastic thing like this. So that's the actual phone. It has a little fake screen on it. And you see, it talks about it. And, um, so here's the phone. LG. Take a little sticker off. Sticker. Sticker fun. Yeah, so the screen, I can definitely see the difference in the touch screen size. Okay. So this is mine. This is Nikki's. It falls. And hers at the bottom, she liked it because it's actually buttons. And again, mine is all touch screen. Um, there's the slider feature. Um, so what else we got? Got the power button at the top. Got the power button right there. Got the camera button on the side. Got the SD micro card here. So it's already put in for you. Looks like they already did everything. That's cool. Um, and the buttons, they look the same as the one on mine. I have another little piece of plastic. Is that plastic? Yes, plastic. Okay, so there's another little piece of plastic take off down here at the bottom. Okay, so that's cool. All right. Um, but anyway, it's so like I was saying, from my LG, I know that you can upload video directly to YouTube. I mean, directly from your phone. 
I recorded uh, like uh, the most recent video we did. I did with it was about Mandy her dog. She is a Lyme runner and she's hyperactive and she has separation anxiety. Not great combinations, but so I decided because she's destroyed a lot of stuff in the house that I want to see what she was doing. So I set up a camera and recorded it. When we got back, I turned the camera off right away. And then I walked in the kitchen and realized that's where a lot of the damage that she had done was. So I took my LG out and I recorded what went on in the kitchen and I uploaded it right from the phone. So you can see that and a lot of the other new short, short videos are from there where I'm not sitting down. Like if you see me in the car, a lot of times that's a LG video. Okay, so out of the box we get the battery. Comes in this little package. All sealed up. Good old lithium batteries. Comes with a data cable. And I like this one. I like that it seems it's exactly like I'm almost positive that it's like my Optimus. That it comes with a data cable that doubles as a charging cable. So, see, voila. Comes with USB and the mini USB port. So, I just want. I'll plug it into my LG and I'm almost positive. Yep, it's the same cord. So me and my wife can share cords and that's sexy. Okay, so let's see where hers plugs in. Here it is on the side. So that goes right there. There we go. And then for the wall charging, little wall adapter comes in here. Okay. Wall adapter. That's the USB. The wall adapter. There's no plug in. Okay. Then we got the back, and I already ordered from Amazon um, a case for, but that I uh, didn't think the phone would be here till tomorrow, but it got here a day early, so that's cool too. But until that gets here, she's just gonna have to be careful. Uh, for my phone. I like the silicon jelly. See, it's kind of squishy, and I like those because it gives like a, in my opinion, it gives like a little rubberized bounce to it, um, and it has the little cutouts in the areas that are important, like the volume on the side, the back for the camera and the flash, uh, for the speaker, um, for the microphone, and at the top for the USB port, um, the earplug, and the power button. Uh, now hers, because it's a slider, they didn't have a jelly, so I got her uh, a rubberized hard case um, that I have two snap-on plates, one for the front, one for the back. When I do the update, I'll do it when that is here, so you can see it. Yeah, that'd be fabulous. Anyway, so let's go move forward, and I give you little instructions and startup guides and all these things to help you out. And I don't want to read it in Spanish. Not that strong in Spanish. So it says, prepare your Net 10, Net 10 phone for activation. Remove screen protectors. Done. Install the battery. So let's do that. Get this a battery slot. Line it up. Pretty simple. I don't know if you can see. It has the little, the little slots there. Line up with those. Line it up. Put it in. And it snaps in place. Very nice. Um, put on the back cover. And pretty sure I can't mess this up. Let's take the charger out of this for a second. So back cover. This will match everything up. Give it a little snap. Stamps right on, nice and easy. So that's how it looks as a complete phone. Isn't that sexy? Okay. Then it says locate the charger USB dock on the left edge of the phone, which we already did. But don't tell the instructions, they might be mad. So you locate that and you plug it into an outlet. Okay, so let's do that. Plug it into Plugged in. You lose. 
Process. Go to net 10 or call blah blah blah. One eight was one eight seven seven eight three six two three six eight from another phone. Serial number. Okay. So if you were getting oh it has a little cool charging thing. If this was your new phone and you didn't have a net 10 phone like I do, then I want to switch over, which is what I'm doing. I'm switching from this net 10 phone. Oh, it's all gross and disgusting. That off there. Okay. Switching from this one to the new one. And it's cool because if you did that, if you're doing that, if you have a net 10 you want to upgrade it, it'll carry over any minutes or service time you have left to the new phone, which is quite useful because I don't want to waste that money. Um, only problem is that I noticed it takes a little bit longer than the first time I activated the phone. It took almost a complete day for everything to get switched over. Um, but once it was over, it was good. Um, while you're waiting with my old LG, I was able to uh, hook it up to my home internet. You just got to know your, um, your web code key or whatever other security oops, excuse me, measures you have. And plug that in there. Uh, get it hooked up. Um, but if it's a new phone, you're going to need an activation card. Um, or, we, or you can get a code from online. When you, you go to the website, you sign up, give me your email, give me your information, give me the serial number. And then you pay for your monthly fee, which for this will be fifty dollars a month. It has to be fifty dollars a month, or um, it won't work um, because th that's just the type of phone. This that's the, that's part of part of the deal with this phone. It's part and parcel. Now, another thing I, I found out, and I'm going to point out to you guys about these LGs, um, about Net 10 in general, is that you have to be near Sprint. Uh, Sprint towers, and that doesn't bother me because Sprint is near me, and my phones work fine. Uh, all my Net 10 phones have, um, but apparently that's not the case all over the country or all over the world. So if you're thinking about getting the Net 10 phone, check Sprint availability in your area, even on the Net 10 website. Even if you're going to buy the Net 10 phone and use the Net 10 service in the Net 10 area without going through the Net 10 website, check on their website for availability. Because then it should also tell you if their service is available in your area. When you log on to their website, net10.com, um, they ask you to click on the phones like you want to purchase it. And they'll have a list of different phones. It'll have my LG, the Optimus, the big one that's like almost 400 bucks, and then they'll have the one that Nicole got, which is uh, 179. Click on whichever one you're interested in, and then it'll say check availability. Punch in your your uh, zip code. You know, for example, mine is 20722. Punch that in, and then it'll tell you, oh, you want to use this phone. In my case, it says Brentwood. Even though we really live in Colmar Manor, it's, you know, apples and oranges, eggs and baskets, whatever. They don't understand that that city, we, we share post office. But anyway, so they say, oh, that's where you want to use it. And you say yes, and then it'll tell you if what phones are available actually in your area. And you can purchase it from them. And like I said, we did. As you can see here, if you want to look. Um, it's sold to uh, uh, sold to Nicole. That's us. One seventy nine, and actually we got it for for her birthday. Um, figure we upgrade, and it was one seventy nine plus ten eighty tax. Shipping was free, and you can see we put a little little thing there. Where is it? Where are we? Happy birthday, Nicole. Love you, fam. Me at PCHM, Scraping Help Ministries. Okay. So that's about all I can do because I need the computer to go on the website and tell them I want to switch over phones. And if you have an LG phone or if you have a Net 10 phone already, if you have one of the older phones, like this isn't actually an LG. Even though it's old, uh, you know, this is, you know, it works with the internet barely and it, it has that annoying feature when 
You send texts that keeps telling you how much time you have left over, and it's it's slow, it's clunky, but it was cheap. It was 19 bucks, and um, you know for 19 bucks, I'm I didn't complain. But it was time to upgrade. It was hard to keep up with the times with this. So, case okay, sera sera. It is what it is. Um, but if if you already have a phone, then like I said, you go to the website, you log on to your normal account, and tell them that you want to activate your new phone. And it's gonna and it's gonna ask for well, it's gonna ask for more information. And you're gonna end up telling them you want to switch your old phone and that you already have a number. And so you type in the number from your old phone, put it in there, and then they ask for the serial number. Now, if your phone is still active and still working, that's not a problem. You can just, uh, especially on these, you can just go to it and it will tell you exactly what it is. And if you're with Net 10, it'll actually even have it on the page for you. So you can either write it down or it'll, it'll prompt you and it'll put it in there for you. And then you have to put in the information for the new one. Um, and then it'll transfer and it'll tell you that it's going through and it'll take some time and eventually your phones will switch and in the meantime like uh, God willing as it did for me my old phone kept working the whole time until the new phone was ready and then um, it stopped um, and it got tired God, I said so. anyway that's again the LG Q the new one for Nana Nicole Mickey my love my wife and this is the LG Optimus the big boy I think it's called the black. Black. Because it's bad. But um, let me know what you think. If you have either one, if you're thinking about getting either one, if you have specific questions, ideas, thoughts, want to hear them, want to know them, uh, please comment, please like, please subscribe, and have a great day. Now, again, let me say this. If you do comment with any foul language, I will delete it. If you do it twice, I will block you. Um, aside from that, thanks a lot. Say what you feel. Think what you say. Have a great night. Jesus bless you.